हरे कृष्णा अटैचमेंट टू रिजल्ट कन्फ्यूज एफेक्ट विथ कॉज समटाइम्स वेन यू वर्क इन लाइफ वी थिंक ओ आई एम गोइंग टू अचीव दिस आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दिस मेनी मार्क्स इन माई एग्जाम आई एम गोइंग टू सेल दिस मैच ऑफ माई प्रोडक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू मीट दिस टारगेट और आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दैट नाउ दिस sort of uh sort of f- uh, focus on the results thinking about results can sometimes inspire us and energize us to work dedicatedly at the same time it can lead to a lot of frustration if somehow we don't achieve the results so now the bhagavad gita also cautions us against this way of living when it in one of its most well known verses 2.47 it states कर्मण्येवाधिकारस्ते मा फलेशु कदाचन मा कर्मफल हेतुर्भुर मा ते संगोस्वकर्मणि कर्मण्येवाधिकारस्ते कर्मण्य एव अधिकारस्ते यू हैव अधिकार अ राइट टू परफॉर्म योर वर्क मा फलेशु कदाचन बट यू डू नॉट हैव अ राइट टू द फ्रूट्स ऑफ द वर्क मा कर्म फल हे दुर्भुर एंड डो नॉट थिंक दैट यू आर द हेतु यू आर द कॉज ऑफ द फ्रूट ऑफ द वर्क मा ते संगोस्व कर्मणि एट द सेम टाइम डो नॉट बी अटैच टू नॉट डूइंग द वर्क सो हियर बेसिकली कृष्णा डिस्करेज अस फ्रॉम बींग अटैच टू द वर्क और फ्रॉम थिंकिंग दैट वी आर द कॉज ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द वर्क नाउ वी मे वंडर वॉट डज दिस मीन if we if we uh, don't envision goals how would we what will inspire us actually krishna encourages us to envision goals but to think that we are going to produce the results the attachment to results confuses effect with cause you know actually we are one of the causes of the work we are not the only cause of the work so for example if we say decide that i am going to today uh, reach the office in time and we start off in time but suppose there is an unexpected traffic jam or suppose there is a road pile uh, car pile up because of some accident and the uh, road gets blocked then we will not be able to move forward now if we started well on time if we plan and execute the plan properly we didn't reach you know things when things are beyond our control we don't have to worry so much and if we try to bring everything in our control imagine that everything should be in our control then we set ourselves up for frustration so quite often if the results don't feel probable then we just become disheartened and give up and when the results do come we become elated and we become egoistic not realizing that many factors beyond our own efforts also contributed to the results so rather than being attached to the results we can be focused on our efforts on our endeavors uh, so there is the endeavor and there is there are factors beyond our control when our that is called a daiva or destiny so our endeavor plus destiny eventually leads to the result so what we what is in our hands that is what we should focus on and yes we want a particular result we can envision that and we can inspire ourselves but we should not think that i am going to produce the result and that way we will not become disheartened when we don't get it and we will not become egoistic when we get it rather we can know this is what i wish to do but for that let me put my whole and soul let me put my effort and rather than focusing on the outcome we focus on the contribution and in this way when the mood of contribution when we work then the more we bring out our best the more we grow even if we don't get the external success at that time in terms of that result but still we move onwards in our life and we move closer to krishna closer to our spiritual potential and we find inner fulfillment and that inner fulfillment will stay with us irrespective of whether we get results or not externally and thus we keep a steady on the path of path of growth and satisfaction by focusing on the efforts not on the results thank you hare krishna